Hi, I'm Mike, owner of the In Group in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm going to do the new arrival video for August 5th, 2022. So, a lot of pre orders and actually a lot of pretty cool titles this week. Not a huge amount of titles, but a lot of cool titles. Okay, so first I'll start with the pre orders. On the website, we've got Panic at the Disco's new album, Viva Las Vengeance. I've got the indie exclusive up there. I think it is on red vinyl. That comes out August 19th. Uh, red Hot Chili Peppers' newest album, Return of the Dream Canteen. This has got three uh, weirdish type configurations. So we've got an indie exclusive. I think it's on gold vinyl. We've got a gatefold edition. So there's a, a special edition specifically for a gatefold. And then there's the non gatefold 2LP single pocket version. That comes out October 14th. Another kiss off the soundboard recording. This is uh, Des Moines 1977. That comes out September 9th. That's probably a pretty good year, I would assume, for KISS fans. Uh, Beyonce's new album. This comes out September 16th, 2022. That I know is uh, going to be pretty popular. People are already asking for it because it's been digitally released, but it hasn't had a U.S. vinyl release yet. New album by Kendrick Lamar, Mr. Uh, Morale and the Big Steppers. That's August 26th, so that's fairly soon. And I wanted to update on the Blue Train, Coal Train, Blue Note Tone Poet. I actually, in my last video, I mentioned, there's, so there's a stereo version coming out September 16th and a mono version. Uh, the mono version is from the dedicated mono mix. The stereo version is from the dedicated stereo mix. That was at a time, again, when uh, Rudy Van Gelder was recording on two separate tape machines. But all the bonus tracks on the stereo edition are actually all analog as well. So both discs are all analog, which is kind of unusual. A lot of times they'll do the actual album when they do these box sets or they do multiple discs. They'll do maybe the main album all analog and then the bonus tracks a lot of times end up being digital. But uh, I reached out to Joe Harley and he confirmed that the whole entire production is all analog and he actually forwarded me the original master tapes for the original master tape photographs for everything that's in it. So that is going to be pretty cool. A lot of people have also asked me if I was only going to get one, which is nonsense. It's one of the greatest jazz albums of all time. And if you're a jazz fan, you get, I'm going to get both. But if I was going to get one, I would do the stereo. Uh, because for not a ton of extra money, you're getting an extra disc for you know a fraction of what the first disc cost. And uh, yeah, that's kind of where I would go. But I'm getting both. Even though I have, you know, Music Matters version of it, and a lot of Productions version of it, multiple originals. Yeah. Okay. This album, Chris Isaac's uh, Heart Shaped World, has never actually got a reissue. And originals of this are like 100 bucks. So now we have a record store essential reissue on white vinyl. I actually listened to this in the store today because the original of this album even if you're not a fan of it, is actually spectacular sounding. And this comes from an era, I think an 89 originally, maybe. I want to say it originally came out in 89, but this comes from an era when a lot of vinyl started sounding pretty crummy because the labels had kind of moved off of vinyl and onto CD. But the original of this has always been a spectacular sounding record. And I was curious if this sounded as good. And this actually does sound really, really good. So this is an album that will sell very quick. It is a Record Store Day Essential. Record Store Day Essentials are exclusive only to records that are registered as Record Store Day stores, and they're one and done. So I actually got these. I looked on my distributor's website, and it's already off. It's sold out. It's out of print. It's done. So this is your chance. Ooh, a couple SACDs. I don't know if I showed these in last week's video. I doubt it. But the new Eagles on the Borner and one of these nights SACD. All right, finally, after some delays, because there's been some shakeups at Sam Records, we have Lester Young. This actually is, so it's technically not really a reprint of the album, uh, because it includes a bonus 10-inch that was never in the original. So this is something that Sam Records had maybe 10 years ago, and it's been long out of print, but there's a bonus 10-inch in it now. So you can kind of see how they stuck it in there. So we've got the album, the 10 inch, and there's actually a poster as well. I could try to pronounce it, screw it up. Le Dernier Massage, originally on Barclay. But yeah, 
I actually haven't listened to the album yet. I'm going to do that later tonight. Miles Davis, fantastic record. Barney Weiland's on this as well. Elevator to the Gallows, the American translation. Fantastic record. Uh, this is an original 10-inch. This is the way it came originally. We got this as, I think it was renamed Jazz Tracks in the United States, maybe in the 70s. Came out much later. But this is the way it originally came out. On Fontana, flip back cover. Uh, great, this is all analog from the original master tapes. Press that optimal. Fantastic, well worth owning. And a restock from the Lost Recordings. This is live at the Laren Jazz Festival, 1975, Sarah Vaughn. Okay, also, I've got T-Rex Electric Warrior from Mobile Fidelity. I think I got Brothers in Arms with this, but the Brothers in Arms sold out, so I didn't bother showing you. But I still do have some copies of Electric Warrior. This, I'm not sure what the deal is with this. The Wallow Singles Collection. This was a record store day title. It was actually really in demand, but it sold out pretty quickly. I don't know if they just sent me the rest of my order that I originally ordered, because I was allocated pretty heavily the first time around. But yeah, I think they only did 1,500 of these, and it's on sky blue vinyl, so I'm going to assume that isn't going to be around very long. Actually, one of my favorite Thin Lizzy records, and I want to say one is on white vinyl, and one is on blue vinyl, or excuse me, one's on blue, one's on black. I'm not sure. There's two color variations here, though, but... Uh, Black Rose. I actually really dig this album. I probably like, this might be my favorite album of theirs. I think just as a cohesive album from front to back, I've just always dug this album. But this is uh, from Friday Music. I showed this last week. It sold out really, really quick because this is uh, all analog, cut by Bernie Grunman. Little Feet. Uh, and from what I heard, I haven't had a chance to listen to it because it was pretty short last week. I knew I had the rest of the order coming, but I wanted to save it for the customers. But uh, yeah, all analog cut by Bernie Grunman. All right, we've got Glass Animals Dreamland. This is a limited edition 180 gram glow-in-the-dark vinyl featuring the biggest song in the world, Heat Waves. How do you measure if it's the biggest song in the world? I don't know. I must be out of it, because I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. Okay. Timbaland and Magoo. Under construction. First time press on vinyl since 2003. Featuring the hit songs Cop That Shit, Indian Flute, and Naughty Eye. Features appearances from Missy Elliott, Brandy, and Wyclef Jean. And more. Okay. Earl Thomas and the Pain, Dancing Dimensions. What is this? Kind of looks like the Thundercat record, Drunk, right? Let's see. Warm Rot? Hiss? What is this? Warm? Worm Rot, sorry. Worm Rot. Hiss. Alex Skolnick on Blue Vinyl, Last Day in Paradise. We have some more Friday Friday music reissues. Elvis's Golden Records. Friday music. This is kind of cool. I don't know who wouldn't want this. All right, we've got Kevin Costner's Feel the Dreams, and on what probably is considered, in my opinion, one of the greatest titles ever for a color of vinyl. This is Cornfield Green. Huh? Come on. If you're a fan of the movie, you get it, but... If not, you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah. Health. Generations. Disco 4. Two original albums in one commemorative LP set. Features Nine Inch Nails, Lamb of God, Hunter Gex, Poppy, Full of Hell, and more. White Vinyl, limited to 1,000. Another Friday music reissue. Average White Band. This It's kind of crazy, you know. I say this week after week, but like this is an album that, man, it just doesn't come in. And if it does, it's beep, 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 unsellable, really, because it's unplayable. So this is a welcome reissue to actually have in the store. The Elvis, you know, Speaker's Corner does a version of it as well. But that, I'm glad to have. Tony Braxton. Let's see. Certified Gold, the Stick Studio album from Tony Braxton. First time pressing vinyl since 2005. 
What is the name of this Tony Braxton album? Liberia? Albert Collins, the master of the Telecaster on Alligator Records. Cold Snap. Good record. I actually really dig Albert Collins. He is pretty damn good. Okay, the Interrupters. There's two versions of this. So we got limited edition colored vinyl. I'm guessing one's the indie exclusive and one's just the standard black vinyl. Yeah, the indie exclusive is on aqua blue vinyl. All right, Jojo, The High Road. We have Overkill, White Devil Armory. Let's see, limited edition, 180 gram neon green with black splatter vinyl includes download card, White Devil Armory. Murder by Death, Spellbound. We have Soul Asylum, The Silver Lining. I did not know that they were still, I guess, what is this, from 2006? In 2006. All right, Shearwater, The Great Awakening. We have Ryo Kawasaki, Juice. Now, I'm not familiar with this record. I'm actually was wanting to listen to this all day. It looks absolutely fantastic. And this is on Bongo. And really, man, they've just been on a roll. You know, that last record, that uh, South African jazz record I told you guys about maybe two weeks ago, I forget the name of the artist, was just absolutely dynamite. I'm hoping this is actually really similar. Came out originally in 76 on RCA. Uh, classic jazz funk fusion from the late great Japanese artist, guitarist uh, Ryo. Kawasaki, recorded in New York, 1976. Looks really good. Placebo. Without you, I am nothing. We have emulation, bone and beer, swirl with vinyl, splatter vinyl, limited to a thousand. Acts of God. I think that's what it is. You know these. Uh, Doom, Death, Sludge Metal Records are unreadable. Thrice, Major Minor. The Lux Pressing includes three bonus tracks, limited edition color vinyl. We have Role Model, RX. I'm guessing we have... They have two separate barcodes, but it doesn't specify the difference. I would assume one is an indie exclusive record and one is not. Beach Rats, Rat Beat, limited edition colored vinyl. This is on clear vinyl. This is actually my favorite cover of the week. Jackpot Juicer. You've got all of the, I have no idea what this is musically, I have not a clue, but I love the cover. Like all the gold guys here are metallic. They're all hanging around the casino. We've got a little Pac-Man up in the corner here. We've got, you know, an orange riding a banana. Not a clue, but look at this metallic background here. It just looks awesome. It's probably not any good. I don't know. I have not a clue, <laughs> but it sure looks cool. It's on yellow with red and black splatter vinyl. So, yeah. Give me the funk, the best of funky flavored music, volume three. Van Hunt, self-titled indie exclusive. But I'll probably give that a listen to. I think I've got three records to give a listen to. I've already gave the uh, Chris Isaac a listen to. Uh, Lizzo's new album, In Case Nobody Told You You're Special. This is on white exclusive grape colored vinyl. I don't think I've actually showed this. Maybe this is a different color variation than what I've already gotten. All right, we've got the Mars Volta. Let's see. This is a blue transparent vinyl. Some more Mars Volta. That's the name of this album. Octahedron on red transparent vinyl. 
Shuggy Otis, absolutely dynamite record. Very hard to find. Originally on Epic. Really good record. Sex Pistols. So this is an official release of Spunk. So Spunk was actually uh, the original recording of recordings for Nevermind the Bullocks. They ditched them and re-recorded everything. But these are the original recordings. It was bootlegged as Spunk, which was actually the very first album, if you would, for uh, the Sex Pistols. This is limited edition on pink vinyl. I'm pretty sure this is official, right? Let's see. Released a few months. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was originally bootlegged. Okay, I don't know if this is another color variation, but very limited. Oingo Boingos, nothing to fear. This is limited edition of 500 on black and red vinyl. I feel like I showed another version of this last week, but I don't know if it was on black and red vinyl. That could just be a... No, it wouldn't have been a restock because it wouldn't have been in here. I'm going to assume the black and red vinyl is another variation of the record I showed you last week. Different colors. Euphoria, Season 2 soundtrack, HBO original. And we have Nelly's Nellyville. And last, this was actually a pre-order, we've got Aaliyah's One in a Million. Her whole catalog, I think, is getting repressed. Her originals are quite expensive, so yeah. That is it for this week's New Arrival video. Check us out online at theingroove.com. Until next time.